Finch's um, art history uh, series. This art history series is gonna talk about uh, Sorella, Joaquin Sorella, Spanish uh, painter. Sorella was born in 1863 in Valencia. He was raised by his grandmother who um, had to raise him because his parents died of uh, Corolla disease. Uh, since he was young, he showed a huge interest in drawing and in art. Uh, uh, so in 1881, he joined uh, Fine Arts uh, Academy in Valencia, where there he met Anthony Garcia, who became his dear friend, uh, and he was a photographer, so he asked him to work with him in the, his photography studio as an assistant, and he was exposed there to the art of photography. He met his wife there as well, uh, Claudette, and she uh, became his long-time uh, partner and wife in a romantic relationship. The love he had for Claudette was uh, very passionate and very loving. He used to write her a lot of uh, letters and we knew that from the letters that they have in the museum in, in Spain. So these letters, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read one of the letters. All my love is focused on you. Despite my great love for our children, you are more, much more than them for many reasons that there is no need to mention. You are my body, my life, my mind, my perpetual ideal. So Sorella was very aware of the power of photography at that time. He knew that the viewers can experience a visual and a visual experience through photography. So he wanted to apply this in his own paintings. The way that he cropped his paintings and the way he uh, replicate patterns and the way he uh, tried to capture the scenery in a certain angle or position shows that it is coming from an eye of a phot photographer. So. Sorella's paintings were ma mainly based by photography and uh, yeah. So when, whenever he was painting in his garden, he used to paint a lot of Spanish famous monuments at that time that Spanish culture was very familiar with and he used a very beautiful technique which is a water uh, reflection uh, in his paintings, you can see in his painting a lot of water reflections and um, the way he depicted the scenes showed a very great technique mastery. In his final years, he started to paint his family in a large scale and he wanted to capture the composition in a very free form, in a very free way. Uh, and. In that manner, he really sharped and developed his own mastery of his own techniques. I can, as you can see here, um, this is a painting that was painted in 1895, uh, which can depict a rare moment of Sorella's wife having a moment of rest. Uh, it, it is a painting that commemorates the birth of his daughter, Alina. So Serena decided to break from the norm as his artist technique and he decided to paint a domestic scene which was very rare of his own uh, style. But as you can see, this is a very special moment for him and his family and he wanted to keep this piece within the family instead of selling it for a collector. This painting shows Sorella's ability of transmit physical, intense physical uh, sensations and as well intense emotional sensations uh, with his ability, with his technique of capturing and handling light and color. So in this scene, and particularly in this scene, you can see that the mother and the daughter head rest against each other in a very soft 
uh, sweet way. You can see that is, uh, he chose the white color to cover the uh, majority of the painting. Uh, the duvet and the pillow are, are in white because they, they are sampling pur purity. You can understand that the main focus of this painting is the mother's face. Uh, she is showing a lot of uh, beautiful feelings like happiness and content. Um, even the daughter is wearing white so that the main focus uh, point should be on the mother's face. And you can see that there is no details in the background. Uh, there is almost no details in the walls. He kept it a very neutral, simple, calm color, uh, which is very rare for Sorella to do that because his paintings usually depict a lot of details and also shows a lot of uh, vibrant colors so by him choosing to choose this scene shows that he really uh, indulged in the moment and he really wanted to capture the moment and the sensation within, within the moment. Sorella captured uh, the, these moments in his life further in his life for his family and he wanted to keep doing paintings for his family uh, which I will discuss in the future as well. I'm gonna be talking more about Sorella's artworks in the future. Please let me know if you like this type of videos. Um, I'm gonna do more of these video essays and please let me know if you want to see me uh, giving these guided lectures in the museums here in Abu Dhabi, in a Louvre Museum or in Guggenheim Museum. I would be happy if you uh, replied in the poll that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video or in the community. Uh, so please say yes uh, if you want to see more of these videos and if you want to see me uh, as a tour guide there in the museums. Uh, I, will happy for, I will appreciate your support.